Oh, <laughs> we got some amazing news today, boy. What is going on, everybody? <laughs> How are y'all doing? Hey, we have some dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. First, give it a big thumbs up, like, like, like. All right, PlayStation 5 console giveaway is happening on the channel. One, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Two, follow me on Twitter. You're in the giveaway. All right, the first news item. Remember, I reported about a week or so ago of a rumored revised PlayStation 5 model? That's why we talk about rumors and leaks, because most of the times, they happen. And lo and behold, it's happened. A brand new PlayStation 5 console, a new revised model, is now out in the wild. And here are the tidbits on the new PlayStation 5 model that have started appearing uh, first in Australia and in other regions. They're going out, they're going out. And two big things. The new model is lighter, means it's lighter than the current model. And you no longer need a screwdriver to attach the base at the bottom if you're trying to stand your PS5 vertically. So those are the biggest uh, takeaways from the new model. Other than that, it looks pretty much identical externally, externally to your current PS5 uh, model. So it'll be hard to differentiate. Do I have the new model? Do I have the original launch model? Um, but it is now out. It's lighter and you don't need a screwdriver. So um, if you're trying to find a PS5, there you go. I'm thinking Sony may have done some things internally, made some changes so that it'll be cheaper for them to um, produce. It's already being reported that they're making a profit on the hardware sales already. So there it is, boys and girls. And the next news item is a doozy. Speaking of PlayStation, Call of Duty Vanguard Open Alpha has been announced and if you have a PlayStation console, you get exclusive access to the Alpha which will be this weekend. Um, August 27th through 29th, PlayStation owners will be able to get their hands on the game uh, for the first time and we get to play exclusive new multiplayer modes. All right, you'll get to play. This is coming from metro.co.uk. Um, Vanguard's new multiplayer mode, Champion Hill. Two teams of two or three compete in a round robin deathmatch tournament <coughs> where the goal is simply to be the last squad standing. So, can't wait. You can currently also preload, pre-install um, the alpha directly through Warzone or Cold War so you can go preload the game. I will be on it, playing it with the sponsors. You want to join a dope gaming community, become a sponsor. The link's in the description. You get on my PlayStation friend list, all that fun stuff. It's going to be lit, going to be lit. I'm still not sure yet if I'm going to be on Call of Duty. I hopped back on Rogue Company. I'm having fun on Rogue Company, but I'm definitely going to be I'm trying out this Call of Duty Alpha. And last but not least, we have to, I have to talk about this black uh, myth Wukong. Bro, black myth Wukong. They've come out with a gameplay trailer showing the game running on Unreal Engine 5, and it does not disappoint. This game 
it's looking dope 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 we still don't have a confirmed release date i think they're saying that the game is trying to launch um in 22 or 23 but this is going to be a day one buy on my ps5 the game just looks insane bro it looks insane the snow physics all that stuff just a crazy 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 looking game so an all new gameplay trailer uh, ign has uploaded it so go and check it out amazing amazing stuff no that was that's not even the last news item we have one more bro i'm tripping tripping we gotta end it with some 2k news man this is gonna be the game i'm gonna be on heavy when it drops 2k 22 cannot wait and mike wang there was some controversy last week mike wang tweeted out a lot of stuff he's the game one of the game biggest develop devs and then he backtracked and had to delete those tweets i think he leaked some information that he wasn't supposed to in a nutshell the game will have some kind of battle pass type um feature this this year when you're progressing your player one great aspect of the game this year will be once you make it to 99 you you won't be dropping back down according to mike wang he tweeted it out you won't lose overalls this year so that was one of my biggest pet peeves with 2k um this last year you get the 99 even when you win your overall still slowly goes down i hated that so dope 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 i can't wait i'm excited for the game they've shown zero gameplay so far and the game launches in about two weeks which is crazy no more like three weeks closer to three weeks which is still crazy but can't wait i'm hyped for the game we're gonna be on that 2k heavy um all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming bro we out boy